Campbell. There's no secret. There's no shortcut. Everything that is alive is conscious. Be silent. Be still and know God. Until you feel worthy, it ain't going to happen. Rigorous, ruthless, disciplined focus. You have to get to a place where you can work on yourself. If you are looking to live at the tip of the spear when it comes to health optimization, join my private membership group, Fully Optimized Health. Dot com and get the latest and greatest on hormone optimization, peptides, fitness, fat loss, and most importantly, raising your vibration. Again, go over to fullyoptimizedhealth.com and sign up today. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be around the world. I am Jay Campbell, and of course, you are watching the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my virtual StreamYard studio with a doctor of chiropractic named Ernesto Pecoraro. Dr. Ernesto, how are you, my friend? I'm great. How are you? Thanks for having me on. It's an awesome, an honor to have you here. It's awesome to have you here. Let me give you or give the audience a little bit about your bio. Um, so, so Doc is an internationally sought after physician of 25 years who knows, who knows a practice called Epic Upper Cervical Care Technique. So again, this is a new or relatively new uh, modality in the chiropractic uh, world, Epic relieves back pain that most other medical therapies fail to correct. So awesome. We have a bunch of talking points here today, but I do like to gather in the typical Jay Campbell style. Uh, and again, for the purposes of this show, today is Thursday, October 13th, 2022. Um, what is your take on where we are right now, you know, as the human species? Like, are you are you a buyer or seller? of our shelf life. <laughs> uh, did you repeat that? I, I, I mean, I are, so where we, where we are right now, uh -huh. are you pro we're going to keep going or are you of the mindset that we're about to blow ourselves up? Well, I hope we're not going to blow ourselves up, <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I always believe in the best, but uh to make sure that we don't blow ourselves up. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I, I just heard some, some things that Putin said uh, today that, uh, but you never know what, what he really said because of the, right. Everything's uh, a lie. Yeah. Whatever. So, yeah. Uh, well, it's a weird, we're in a weird time, doc. Like if you're okay, if I call you doc, I, I presume, sure. is that okay? Okay, cool. I mean, we're just, we're, we're in a very strange time on planet earth. I mean, you know, obviously perception is everything, you know, you can look at the glasses half full. You can look at the glasses half empty. Uh, I did a podcast with a academic earlier this morning and she was like, yeah, but we're still living in these physical bodies, you know, limited by the laws of space time in the third dimension. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, I mean, like no matter where we place our consciousness, you know, half empty, half full, there are some realities of living here and it is just a very interesting time to be alive. I mean, I don't think we've ever, at least in my lifetime, in this current lifetime, I don't think I've ever seen the world as unstable. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you could make an argument that the financial system, uh, the economic system of like how we live our lives with things outrageous now with like inflation, just insane. I mean, I filled up my tank two days ago, dude, it was seven forty a gallon. Wow. $7 and 40 cents a gallon. So, I mean, like everything is just unbalanced right now. Uh, yeah. Like you said, with, you know, the world, the geopolitical instability. I mean, it's just a very strange time to be here, but again, it's perception, right? Like if you don't pay attention to what's going on in the world and you just create your little fiefdom, you know, like you being a chiropractor, me being a, a creator, influencer, you know, whatever I am, gypsy, I call myself an online gypsy. We don't have to, we don't really have to partake in any of the nonsense. You know, right. you know, like you see your patients every day, every, all day. And then, you know, every now and then you do podcasts or whatever. But if we just stay at our bubble, how does it affect us? Yeah. Well, it doesn't really until the reality hits. Um, but, you know, I I know I, I've, I've been around for 68 years now. So there have been time in the 60s where things seemed terrible. I remember as a little kid, them telling us to go underneath our desks in schools. Right. And if right. the alarm goes off, not that that's going to help, but, um, you know, people were scared then too. So, right. yeah, no, I mean, it's like, it's like we're untrained to be in fear. That's why you yeah. have to like opt out of that. I, I went through that too. I mean, I'm not as old as you. I'm 51, almost 52 now, but I had the same shit. 
you know, mm-hmm. nuclear, nuclear war drills, you know, you, yeah, you go under your desks. And then it was also the stuff where they would take us outside, you know, fire drills and all that. Crazy yeah. stuff. <laughs> it's like conditioning you for fear. All right, well, let's wrap that. So, um, so anyway, let's talk. I'm, I'm very interested in understanding Epic. So our first talking point is uh, how to achieve and opt and, and maintain optimal brain health. You want to expound on that? Yes, uh, EPIC stands for Evolutionary Percussive Instrument Correction because we use a sound wave to correct the upper bone in the spine called the atlas. It's right by the uh, um, brain. So there's a lot of different things there like blood vessels and nerves and the spinal cord that can be affected if the atlas is misaligned. And we see that with a lot of people who come in, they have headaches or jaw pain. I saw two people with jaw pain today and they went to a lot of different doctors and they they really just treating the symptoms with drugs and trying to cover it up. So, um, but if the atlas is misaligned, it could press on the uh, internal carotid artery, which goes to the brain and the internal jugular vein, which drains the blood from the brain. So it could affect the blood flow. Uh, Also, the cerebrospinal fluid flow. Uh, Cerebrospinal fluid will bring nutrients to the brain and take away the waste products uh, while you sleep. It's called the glymphatic system. So if the atlas is impairing those systems, you can get... um, back of of blood into the brain or uh, waste products. And the brain is not going to be as healthy as it should. And we know that the brain controls everything by sending signals down the spinal cord, out through the nerves to the rest of the body. So optimum brain health, obviously with exercise and, and diet and things like that. But we get a lot of patients in here who exercise, they have good diet and but their atlas is out and then they, their brain isn't working very well. They'll complain of, uh, you know, cloudy feeling in their brain or not being able to concentrate. Uh, one woman said that she was an 80 year old woman. She said that she could go to her book club and she couldn't read the books that well anymore. So she, and, and it was something she really liked to do, but after getting her atlas corrected and increasing the blood flow to the brain and make her brain healthy, she had no problem anymore. So that's what we're looking to do to, to make the brain healthy because that controls everything in the body. I, this is very fascinating. So I got to ask you deeper questions on this. Um, like, how, so do you have the instrument, like what technology are you using to uh, manipulate the sound free or the frequency, you know, around uh, the Atlas? Like, do you have, have you created or patented a device or like, what are you using? Well, the, actually, this this type of analysis has been around since the 1930s, even before wow. the 1920s. Uh, but the technology wasn't there with the sound wave. Uh, chiropractors used to manipulate it with their hands yeah. and give a lot of um, pressure. And uh, in the 1930s, there was a chiropractor named Grostick, and he wanted to make sure to be very specific. So he put engineering and mathematical principles in marking the x-rays. And then in 1980, one of his students called Dr. Sweat decided that you didn't need that much pressure to move the bone. Mm-hmm. So he invented the sound wave machine and he got really good results. Uh, but because of the technology, you couldn't get all, all the different directions. Uh, so a Dr. Pierce, um, who I studied under, he developed the machine to go in three different directions. So it's much more specific. And it took him about seven years to develop the machine and technology, um, which was built on the former technology, uh, used the sound wave, and he improved everything. Because the old machine sometimes had misfires or uh, just didn't work that well. Um, so he took all the bad things about it that didn't work on the machine and he developed, uh, he had seven different prototypes over a period of seven to 10 years to develop this. 
And basically what we do is we, we use spinal engineering software uh, on the x-rays, we use digital x-rays to measure the exact milligrams and the exact um, angle that the atlas is displaced. And then we use the sound wave machine, we input everything, all the calculations, so we'll move the atlas back to where it should be. And once that happens, then healing can occur. And we immediately take a post X-ray, and we, with the post X-ray, we do another analysis and make sure we corrected what we saw on the beginning X-ray. So it's basically a very simple technology, the sound wave is, it's just uh, two pieces of metal hitting each other and coming out a stylus and directing the sound wave. Because the, the atlas is about three quarters of an inch to an inch uh, below the skin because right. you have soft tissue and muscles and things like that. But the sound wave can be directed where it will go right through it and then just hit the main beam of sound where it's supposed to be. So when the, I mean, again, I'm fascinated by this. It's like, I want you to whip out the machine and show me how this works. But I mean, is the patient lying on a table or anything like that close to the machine? I mean, how did, how, how yes. Did what they do is the machine is built. So they lay on their side okay. and we position their head on this headpiece and we, we move it. We can move it in different ways. We can move it up and down and we can move it the angle of the headpiece, uh, depending on what we see on the x-rays. Because what we want to do, besides moving the atlas, the axis, which is the second bone uh, from the top, uh, it usually moves with the atlas. If, it rot if the atlas rotates one way, it will rotate one way. But sometimes it rotates the opposite way, which is not good because it puts a lot of tension on the um, spinal cord in that area, like a dish rag that you're wringing out. Um, so <clears throat> we have to place them in a very specific position for their anatomy. And, and that's something that uh, is kind of revolutionary because there's mm -hmm. like 36 different anomalies in the bones. Like one side of the bone can be shorter than the other side of the bone. And some chiropractors will try to get it so if you um, had a line through the middle of the skull and then a line through the atlas, it would have a 90 degree angle. But if you have what I just said, like one side of the atlas is shorter than the other side, then having a 90 degree angle is not right for that person. So the spinal engineering software will take into consideration all that stuff. Um, I'm not an engineer, so right. I, whoever invented that was an engineer and takes into consideration all that stuff to place the atlas in the proper position. Interesting. So like, I'm, I'm attempting to liken this. I mean, again, this is fascinating to me. I'm attempting to liken this to my current chiropractic treatment now and asking questions that I would feel are relevant. So like, do people that are doing, so is this the only way you treat people through this? Uh, no, I mean, what we we focus on is the atlas because sure. that's what we call the primary subluxation subluxation right. being misplacement causing right. nerve interference right so the atlas is the most important part um the other bones we will work on uh if need be but yeah. not initially initially we'll just do the atlas for a couple of weeks if we have to do so we even can uh adjust uh, extremities like right. elbows and so, so I understand so like essentially the way your modality is once you adjust the atlas to perfect alignment everything else falls into place over time yes see the atlas has a different kind of uh it doesn't have a disc like all the other right. vertebrae has right uh and the disc kind of um gives stability to the other bones also the other bones have like interlocking joints unlike the atlas, which has joints so you can move your head all around because yeah. that's very important for you to see. Um, so when the atlas is out of place, it affects all the rest. Right. But if it's in place, uh, I, I didn't used to practice this. It was like three years ago I started sure. uh, with this. And before, I would adjust people, and they would have to come in like three times a week for months, and then they come in, and you – 
it, it was very unstable. But since I've been practicing this way, I don't have to see people that many times at all. Um, the other bones rarely go out, but when they do, uh, and we put them back in, they're much more stable. Wow. So uh, it, it's very interesting to me because I used to practice so differently. Are you currently suffering from a testosterone deficiency? Are you already using therapeutic testosterone? If you are, go to tottdecoded.com forward slash 10 dash questions and find out the top 10 questions you need to be asking your doctor about therapeutic testosterone. These are critical questions to ask your doctor. If they can't answer them, you need to find another doctor. Well, I mean, I'm fascinated personally. You know, again, I'm a very big believer, knower of chiropractic. I know it is amazing. Uh, and I would never, I would never not get chiropractic. Um, but like, again, like getting into my current treatment protocols, you know, I go in almost once a week, right? Never more. I mean, I've had a couple of times where, you know, I injured myself, like doing something, training, exercising or something. And I was like, oh, you know, I slipped a, uh, a rib has come out and I can't breathe right. Or I can't, you know, roll over in bed or night. But like, so like in, in, in the, and that's obviously the way you probably used to adjust people. And that's again, manual, yeah. you know adjusting for man, subluxations manually, but like what, how would this affect me? And obviously I'm, now I want to attempt this, but like, if I started doing this, would it be like a once a month? I mean, again, once I, my body was, uh, 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 got used to this type of uh, modality, would it just be like, you see each other, I would see you once a month. Well, I, I could, uh, I could give you an example of a patient who comes in yeah. and they have a severe problem. Uh, we would treat them. And then we do follow-up visits, usually depending right. on whether they have arthritis or mm -hmm. how long they've had the problem. Could be eight to 10 or even 12 visits over a three-month period. So let's take an average patient. We'll come in. Uh, we do the workup. We give them the first treatment. We check them within 24 hours to 48 hours to make sure the atlas has been holding in place. If it's holding in place, we don't do anything. Uh, if it's not holding in place, we would readjust them. That's very rare that after the first treatment, they would have to get immediate um, retreated again. So usually we'll see people, this is an average, like twice a week for the first week, twice a week for the second week. If everything's holding, we just expand it out to maybe once a week for one or two weeks. If it's still holding, we go to two weeks, then three weeks, then four weeks. And then we suggest people come like every six to eight weeks just to get it checked. A lot of people don't do that. Um, they might come, you know, every six months or something. Uh, a lot of people just don't feel like they need it. You know, uh, but it, for me, I think it's good to, to get checked because you don't get the symptoms right away when the atlas is out. It takes time for the tissues to deteriorate. And uh, so, that's is that's it, like an average patient. Is there like a specific contact sport or exercise movement that can, you know, knock out the atlas like with more regularity than something else? Like obviously living 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 has its tolls, right? Like sleeping, yeah. turning over pillows, traveling on planes, you know, all of those things can cause it. But I mean, is there like a, you know, in your in your practice and working with, you know, various different patients? You know, does like full contact martial arts, you know, displace it more than just like living, you know, as a normal sedentary, you know, individual? I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously I'm asking these questions for myself because yeah. I really want to understand this, but like I'm, I'm interested. Yeah, it, you know, it just depends on the person and how they yeah. heal. Uh, but I mean, you could have a sedentary person who's looking at a computer and putting their head right, down, like and yeah. then that 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 could cause it to go out. Uh, just from experience using this technique though, a person is very stable, unless they get like a car accident or a fall or hit their head. We have some athletes come in and they get their uh, atlas adjusted. And athletes, because they have good muscles and everything and they're healthier, they tend to uh, hold their adjustments for longer periods of time. So um there's, there's been a few football players who have gone to Dr. Pierce who 
developed this technique in Florida, Clearwater, Florida. Uh, he takes care of some of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and nice. some of the alumni, and uh, they do very well with it. I remember him telling me that uh, he had the one patient came in, uh, as the football player came in, he adjusted him. He said, okay, don't move your neck that much for the next two days. He goes, I have to go to practice right now. Right. right. So I say, okay, <laughs> you have to do what you have to do. You have to live. Right. Uh, which is kind of what I like about this technique and treating patients with this technique, because I could see they could be much more mobile and doing and active and everything. Uh, and it's funny because they come in and they're worried that their atlas may be out and it might just be a little muscle strain or something. And then when I check them, their atlas is fine. And they're very happy about that because they know things are going well then. I mean, doc, this is fascinating stuff. Like, is there a place in uh, my Temecula Marietta, San Diego, that is doing this, a, a uh, that's doing this? No, see, that, that that's the thing with this. Dr. Pierce, um, he's developed it. And at his practice, he's seen people from 38 different countries, wow. uh, 44 different states who travel to his um, office. So this was happening. Actually, the way I got uh, I found out about it was I was retired. Yeah. 2005. I had five chiropractic offices in New York City. I retired. I moved to Florida, Clearwater, Florida, and I would be <laughs> back and forth to New Jersey. So one of my daughters, she was 30 years old. She was walking on the beach. And she feel, felt something go out in her back. And over the next week, she became almost an invalid. She couldn't wow. walk. She was in severe pain. She couldn't carry her pocketbook. She'd be laying down all day. So, of course, I was in New Jersey. I sent her to chiropractors. I sent her to acupuncturists. I sent her to physical therapists. sent her to medical doctors over like three years and nobody was helping her. So I was wow. thinking maybe I should get surgery for her. But my nephew, he was 28 years old. He had a similar problem. He got surgery and he was worse. So I didn't want to do surgery. I didn't know what to do, but she was referred to this Dr. Pierce who was actually only a block and a half away from where she lived. So <coughs> I went with her, Dr. Pierce. He explained about the Atlas did a workup, did a treatment with the sound wave. She got up and she said, wow, like 70% of my pain is gone already. And this is wow. someone who couldn't walk. And What know, was so her original diagnosis for, you know, when she fell? What was the diagnosis? Uh, she didn't fall. She was, she was just walking on the beach and uh, you know, I got it. just progressively – they they thought maybe she had a disc problem, yeah. which she did, but working on the disc and working on the low back didn't work. Yeah. So the main problem was the atlas. Yeah. Of course, most chiropractors won't say, oh, you're, it's the atlas. <laughs> right. so, so this chiropractor did. He treated her. And she now she's like a couple of years later, she's doing everything. She's working out. She has no pain anymore. So I've sent my nephew down. He had the surgery. And I, I called up Dr. Pierce and I said, can you treat people with surgery? Because, you know, my nephew has surgery. So he sent me this video of a guy who had like six surgeries and the guy could hardly walk. Before he did the adjustment and right after the guy was walking almost normally. Wow. So it was very exciting for me and I wanted to learn the technique. But because Dr. Pierce had all these people coming from all over the country and all over the world, yep. he said, I want to franchise this. So actually, I'm the first franchise that opened up. Wow. OK, well, guess what, then, dude? Like, I'm moving to Mexico and I'm taking the whole Jay Campbell posse. I'm, I'm literally going to be moving uh, or creating a healing center in Playa del Carmen, Mexico, which has tons of people like me and you already living there. It's like an expat capital. Uh -huh. uh, man, if you want to teach somebody, you know, I can find a Cairo down there, I'm sure. Or probably a, so, there's probably a bunch of those guys already living down there, but man, I would love, I mean, I'm really right now I'm thinking about like, wow. I, Cause my daughters actually go to school. Uh, my, my daughter is a freshman at Sickles high school, very close to Clearwater. They live in West Chase, Tampa. My other daughter's in seventh grade and my 
the ninth grader is a cheerleader. You know, she's a Mary Lou Retton. You know, she flips a hundred uh-huh. times across the floor, you know, in a second. So it's like, she could use this. I mean, is he, is he taking patients, new patients down yes. there right now? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And his, uh, it's, what's, what's, it's, it's Dr. Pierce. Like, uh, do you know what his website is? Uh, yeah, it's epicclinics.com. Epicclinics.com. So I'm going to tell Chris to call you. So, so, so uh, Mike, I wrote, so, do, um, so do they have to go through him or can they go through you? It sounds like you guys are in the franchise business. Uh, to, you mean to, to learn yeah. the treatment? Yeah. Uh, he, he teaches it. He has like uh, boot camps for chiropractors. You go there for a week and you learn everything. It's like all day, part of the evening. And he'll, you know, you're already a chiropractor. So yeah, you know, the anatomy, but he teaches you his, his technique. That's um, amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. I'm, I'm, uh, we'll be talking off air. Okay. So let's get through the rest of these points. I mean, I'm really fascinated by this. Um, so I'm a huge, uh, not believe. So let me just put it this way. I was $75,000 sound wave device in my, uh, master bedroom right now that my wife and I use. It's called the Rasha. It's actually Dar- it's actually licensed by DARPA. It's a Tesla coil, and you know it's a frequency modulation um, technology that you know you can use to improve meditation to you know reach deeper uh, you know stillness frequencies. I mean, it does a lot of things for a lot of people. I mean, they sell it to people that have uh, severe uh, to parents that have severe autism, children that have severe autism. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, there, there there's people who have literally had uh, you know what's the whatever the most advanced progressive form of autism is that have literally like started after like three weeks of using it, of the technology uh, are able to communicate, you know, before they were like unable to ever communicate with anyone. So, I mean, it's a pretty profound. So anyway, I mean, you, I'm telling you about that because obviously sound waves are unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's so much stuff that can be done with, you know, harmonic frequencies, acoustic wave, Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I'm involved in another company that, uh, you know, patented acoustic wave technology to remove plaque, mm-hmm. uh, you know, from the penis. Right. So, I mean, like there's so many things and modalities, that, you know, and again, it's an, obviously an ancient technology using harnessing the power of sound, but, uh, talk a little bit about just sound waves revolutionizing spinal treatment themselves. Well, yeah, uh, it, it's different because usually with spinal treatment, you know, besides surgery, you have chiropractors who will use their hands and they'll manipulate the spine in a certain way, adjust it so they'll look for bones that are um, fixated, not moving within their proper range of motion, and then they'll use their hands to move it. Uh, With the atlas and the upper cervical, it's a little harder to do that because of the musculature and the soft tissue around it. So actually, they've been using upper cervical technique, adjusting the atlas a very, very long time. Uh, But to put your hand and direct a force on it, it's very, very difficult to do in most instances. With the sound wave, the beauty of it is that it goes through the tissues and you could aim it in a way where it's going to hit there. like in, in medicine, there's uh, uh, some people do this with um, uh, enlarged prostates or, or prostatic cancer where they have directed ultrasound to burn out the cancer cells or kill the cancer cells. Now, this isn't as uh, obviously isn't as intense as that, um, but it, the sound wave can move it because, you know, sound moves things, just you hearing is because there are bones in the middle of the ear that move from the sounds that hit the eardrum. So uh, this is a new thing because you can direct the sound wave in a way that will go through tissue. Even the mastoid, which is part of the bone here, sometimes you have to aim it that way or through the ear to get the right angle for the person. So it's something that you wouldn't be able to do by hand. So it's kind of very revolutionary that you can do that. 
Are you using therapeutic peptides? Are you a new user, maybe an advanced user? Maybe you're considering starting peptides. Highly recommend going to the link right below, thepeptidescourse.com forward slash 10 dash mistakes and download my PDF and learn what not to do before starting therapeutic peptides. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, I mean, I mean, you kind of already mentioned it, but we can just hit it again. I mean, you're talking about uh, realigning your spine to achieve peak body performance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, – there's actually been some studies uh, that I understand with athletes that if the atlas is not aligned, uh, since all the nerves go through right. that area to – the arms and legs and the back and everything. Um, there's been that some uh, baseball pitch- pitchers can throw faster if that's lined because then the nerves, nerve signals are going flowing normally. Um, right. If the atlas is misaligned, it will affect the center of gravity because there are some muscles right there where it attaches to the skull and the atlas that it has what's called muscle spindles, which are stretch receptors. And if one side of the one part on one side is in spasm as opposed to the other side, it sends signals up to part of the brain called the vestibular nucleus, which tells the lower back muscles to realign to balance the head over the body. So when that happens, you could get spasm on one side of the lower back and not on the other side, and it's gonna affect your balance. In fact, Mm -hmm. one of the tests we do, we have the people close their eyes and march in place. And they do that for 60 seconds. And they're very surprised if their atlas is out, they can go 10 feet forward, they can go all the way to the left, all the way to the right, And when they're done, they open their eyes and they thought they were in the same place. And it's because the center of gravity was off. They were pulling to one side. Now, if your eyes are open, your brain says, it says, okay, move this way, move that way. And it it, um, compensates for it. So you'll walk straight. But if your eyes are closed, that doesn't happen. And you get the idea um, that the whole center of gravity is out. And if your center of gravity is out and you're an athlete, you're gonna have problems. You know, if you're a running back or something, you're more likely to trip uh, a baseball player, you know, uh, all these different things can affect athletics. Runners, they're gonna be off balance a little bit. So it's gonna affect their lower back and it could uh, over the years cause bulging discs, things like that. Also knee problems, ankle problems. Yeah. I met a patient one time and he was 74 years old. He had a hip problem and knee problem and ankle problem and low back problem. And he went to chiropractors all the time. And he said, oh, you know, all the doctors just say I'm getting old. <laughs> and I said, well, is the, the other leg as old as that leg? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, how, how come that's not? <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Doctors will tell people anything. It's insane. Um, I mean, honestly, doc, I'm fascinated by this now. You've got me really like fired up, like going to reach out to my chiropractor, you know, cause like I told you, he was very interested in this. You know, he's yeah, a- he, he could go to the website and they yeah. talk about training there also. And yeah. Um, yeah. also about franchising, that kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, give an idea of what we do. Yeah. Like, do you, um, it's not relevant, but it is for me. Did, yeah. Uh, do you is the treatment like a, a regular, you know, maintenance type treatment, higher price, lower price, same price? Like, is that you know, from a looking at this from a you know current like you know a typical chiropractor model, is it different? Uh, I would, you know, I don't really know because different chiropractors, you know, their fees yeah. are. A lot different yeah but over yeah. a long period of time it's it's cheaper because wow you don't have to see someone you don't see it that much. yeah yeah see like I, I mean like i'm a business mind but like i'm thinking about like how this would be like amazing where you would just create you know a monthly protocol you know mm-hmm. you would just have like a monthly mate membership package 
And, right. you know, it's, it's there for when you need it. Right. But like, obviously yeah. once it gets balanced out and you are getting optimized, you know, through correct adjustment of the Atlas, it seems like it would just be, I mean, to me in my mind is cause I'm obviously I'm very pro active with my health. You know, right. I would be like, this is the greatest uh, program ever because like, I, I, I never have to worry, you know, even if I don't go for two yeah. months, who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Right. Like, I know I have this in the background, like whenever I need it, I'm telling you, I think about this right now. Like my wife needs this, like my wife's biggest adjustment issue is always the neck, like right mm -hmm. through here. And I'm thinking to myself, her Atlas is probably, yeah. who knows how long it's been off. Well, that was my next question. So can a manual adjustment, you know, do you think that the manual adjustment is kind of a hit or miss that it actually will adjust the Atlas in the way that this technique does every time? Yeah. Yeah. I think the point is, is the more specific and exact you are with the adjustment, the right. better results you're going to have. Right. That's why we take a post x-ray. We right. adjust the person, we take a post x-ray, we analyze those x-rays and we compare them to the first x-rays. And if the correction isn't right, we can, you know, make it right now because we have different calculations and we could say, okay, we need to do this or we need to do that to make sure we get a better correction. Uh, I never have had to do that like, uh, like the next day or anything yeah. Uh, yeah. because most people, they hold pretty well. Uh, you never know though. Um, but I could just give you an example. I had this one uh, patient. He was 71 years old. For 18 years, he had a thing called tri trigeminal neuralgia, which is the trigeminal nerve is in the face. It's got three mm -hmm. points. It's yep. tri. Uh, the lower one goes to the jaw muscles. Uh, it's a motor nerve. And the other two are sensory nerves. Well, people with trigeminal neuralgia, they don't know why it's what it's caused, what causes it but they have such severe pain, they call it the suicide pain because so many people wind up committing suicide because nobody knows how to treat it. And they're giving drugs, but usually it doesn't work anymore. They have severe, it, fe it feels like your face is on fire, basically. Wow, that's so awesome. he came to me and he's telling me this. I found that his atlas was out. I gave him, I only had to give him one treatment, but I saw him like, probably eight times, but his atlas was always in. So I said, you know, your atlas is holding. Let's see you in three months. And he said, okay. So he came in the other day and he had, he said, I just have a little tingle here. <laughs> uh, maybe my atlas is out. And he was right. His atlas is out. And I put it back in and he's doing fine. So it was three months his atlas was holding. And, uh, wow. You know, Dr. Pierce tells about how his atlas, he's been holding in place for seven years now. Um, wow. So, you know, it, it could be a long period of time where you're doing fine. Yeah. I mean, you know, the other point is the how the, the EPIC protocol is the chiropractic upgrade. I mean, that's what it seems like to me. I mean, because the question I was going to ask you is like, or the comment I was going to make relative to that is, look, man, I'm a big dude, right? Like I train pretty... I mean, I'm getting older now. I'm not a, I'm not a beast like I used to be, but I mean, I still train, you know, at uh, you know, positive muscle failure. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, I'm, I'm, I put my body under duress. Let's just put it a lot of tension and I don't lift as heavy like I once did, but I mean, I still train pretty strong and I know that my chiropractor is, you know, pretty big guy. And when he's mm -hmm. manually adjusting me, there's always times where like to adjust one spot, you knock something else out. Right. And so, so mm -hmm. I love the idea of the test post procedure because like it's sci I mean, you're, I mean, you're, it's more definitive proof mm -hmm. that, you know, there's nothing else. Cause I mean, that happens all the time, you know, he'll literally adjust me and then something else will come out. And I'm like, ah, you got to get this again. Right. You know, and I've yeah. had that for 20 plus years with three different, actually four different chiropractors I work with, depending on where I live. Yeah. And all of you guys are great. You know, I have nothing bad to say. I love chiropractic. I mean, I, I think yeah. it's saved my life, but uh, I really like that idea of this because like I said, it's going to be precise. Well, I tell you, we, we get a lot of patients who go to chiropractors and they weren't able to help them in certain things. 
Yeah. So they come in, but they love their chiropractors. Right. And then I put their atlas in, their atlas is holding. They say, can I go back to my old chiropractor to do the other parts of my spine? I said, yeah, just don't let them touch your neck, but they could do the other things. That's fine if you need it. And uh, that's what they do. But I mean, ultimately, it just seems like you're not going to need it when you once you get the atlas like balanced and optimized, correct? That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I'm like, sure, if you want to keep giving him a donation, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. you could probably give it to Salvation Army. No, I mean, it's well. I think what they find is when they go back, they're not going to need as as many adjustments or uh, right you know, over a period right. of time. So. Amazing. All right. The last point is the unexpected causes of many chronic pain ailments. You just kind of talked about one of them, obviously, but migraines, uh, TMJ, my ex-wife used to have TMJ so bad, Mm -hmm. Uh, neck and low back pain. And of course, sciatica. Yeah. Yeah. Because like I explained the Atlas, if it can shift, it can cause a lot of different things because it's where the, the, it goes from the brain to the rest of the body. Uh, People are pretty amazed. Like I had this one patient and uh, she had severe sciatica and she was told you have to get uh, surgery immediately. You're going to lose, you know, your uh, control of your bowels and your urination. And if you don't get it, you know, and she had three little kids and she didn't want to do it because they said after that, you're going to have to go three times a week for the physical therapist to rehab the muscles and she said, I don't know how I could possibly do that. So actually uh, she was sent to me and uh, I spoke with her father and he said, well, you can't do anything about herniated disc. And I said, well, yes, I can. Um, So we treated her within two weeks, all her pain was gone. She still had numbness in one leg after probably almost two months and she was worried about that. She went back to the doctors. They said, yes, you need uh, right away. We have to do the surgery. And she came to me and said, I don't want to do the surgery. I said, you're not going to have to do the surgery. The numbness takes longer to go away. About a week later, all the numbness was gone. Now she's doing great. You know, it's similar to my, my daughter's low back problem. It's gone. And my nephew and, you know, uh, before I started practicing this, I sent so many people from New Jersey down to um, Dr. Pierce in Florida, people I knew in Florida I sent. Uh, so there are so many different problems. For instance, you have the vagus nerve that goes down into the heart and the stomach. We had a patient who came in and he was saying that um, he was diagnosed that food was stuck in his stomach and they wanted to do a scope and push the food down. Uh, we treat him one time and he hasn't had a problem with that anymore. So it's amazing. Yeah. Really amazing. Even more amazing is that I literally just found the book that you wrote. Why rich celebrities and pro athletes go broke. <laughs> Care to talk about that book before for a second? Yeah, before actually my, my daughter uh, was an actress and she uh-huh. was doing acting in Hollywood. She lived in Los Angeles and I kept seeing Poor these. That was, that, wait, but this isn't the one that was walking on the beach, is it? It's the same no, one? No, a different oh, one. Okay. Her older sister. Got it. Got it. So, uh, you know, I kept seeing all these people who were celebrities and made some of them hundreds of millions of dollars and they were lost broke. it all. Yeah. And I said, you know, these people have great talent. And I don't know who's uh, who's telling them what how to invest their money. So because of her... She had some friends and I said, I'm going to write this book for them and, you know, and anybody. Well, sorry, dude, I, I, I got you on the spot, man. You're on the podcast. Like, what's the key to the uh, people that don't lose it? Because that's what you say. I was reading it says there's one thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the key is investing in real estate. <laughs> Land. I think of Alec Baldwin. Land, you think you can sell a show? Land, <laughs> Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. That's awesome, man. All right, well, you got to send me the book, Doc, because I'm totally fascinated. I'm definitely going to talk to you more off air uh, okay. about this. I apologize. I did not. My reception slash podcast director um, did not give me the link that you want to promote. But if somebody wants to work with you, connect with you, of course, podcast with you, because a lot of people will watch this. Um, what's the best place to send them? Uh, 
I'm uh, offering uh, your audience a free phone consultation if they're interested. They could go to goepicclinic.co. Go Go epicclinic.co. All right, hold on. Let me put that up on the thing so they can see that. So it's go epicclinic.co. That's it, right? Yep. You got Perfect. it. Um, okay, cool. So that's going to get to your local practice in New Jersey. By the way, are all of your offices still open? The five that you had? No. No, I retired. And Did you sell them? Did you sell them? Uh, yes. Yeah. Very smart. Okay, good. Another businessman. And I, you know, you got the dot co. So you got the tech part going too. That's awesome, Doc. Um, all right. Well, listen, man, I really appreciate you coming on today. Like I said, I'll talk to you in a second here off the air. So for you amazing ladies and gentlemen that are watching the Jay Campbell podcast, as always, please support the amazing people that come on. If you are littering in the Northeast and you are a chiropractic patient, I highly recommend that you check out Doc's clinic go epicclinic.co and of course remember raise your vibration to optimize your love creation i will see all of you guys very soon okay thanks jay for having me on